Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John and you are all welcome to my website jesushealsministries.org Today we are going to read about the Holy Spirit from the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 8 And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters and they were divided hither and thither so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said to Elisha, What shall I ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee? And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy Holy Spirit be upon me. And Elijah said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto you. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw Elijah no more, and he took hold of his own clothes, and rent them in two pieces. Elisha took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from Elijah and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. Let's also go to the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible, Isaiah 61, starting from verse 1. The Holy Spirit of our Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is upon me. Because the Lord God Jehovah has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of our Lord God Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and the day of vengeance of our Lord God Jehovah, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy, or the Holy Spirit for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of our Lord God Jehovah Jireh, our provider Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that Jesus might be glorified. Verse 6, we shall be called we shall be named the priests of the Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Men shall call us the ministers of our Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall we boast ourselves. For our shame we shall have double, and for confusion we shall rejoice in our portion. Therefore in our land we shall possess the double, everlasting joy in the Holy Spirit shall be to us. For I, the Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, love judgment, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And our seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and our offspring among the people. All that see us shall acknowledge us that they that we are the seed which the Lord God Jehovah Jireh has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord God Jehovah Jireh, our provider Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My soul shall be joyful in my Lord God Jehovah. For our Lord God Jehovah has clothed us with the garments of salvation. Our Lord God Jehovah Jireh has covered us with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth bud, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so our Lord God Jehovah Jireh will cause righteousness and grace to spring forth before all the nations. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now let us turn to the book of John in the New Testament of the Holy Bible, John chapter 1. Verse 29, The next day John the Baptist sees Jesus coming unto him and says, Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. 
This is he of whom I, John the Baptist, said, After me cometh a man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew Jesus not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I, John the Baptist, come baptizing with water. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Holy Spirit of our Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, descending from heaven like a dove, and the Holy Spirit ab abode upon Jesus. And I knew Jesus not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same Jehovah Jireh said unto me, Upon whom you see the Holy Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same Jesus Christ of Nazareth baptizes us with the Holy Ghost. And I, John the Baptist, saw and bear record that this is the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us also go to the book of Ephesians chapter 5 in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 that Jesus Christ of Nazareth sanctifies and cleanses the church that is Jesus own wife of Jesus own body with the washing of the water by the word of our living God Jehovah Jireh that Jesus Christ of Nazareth presents the church to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that the church of we people the people of Jesus Christ of Nazareth should be holy and without blemish. Verse 32 I speak concerning Jesus Christ of Nazareth and, and Jesus Church, Jesus' own wife, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you everybody for visiting my website jesusheelsministries.org. I'm Vinay Jacob John and Jesus loves us all, Jesus heals us all. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen.